Hey there, YouTube. Gonna replace the antenna on this Sennheiser pack. I think they're pretty much all the same. You just gotta have this special tool, which is a, I think it's a Torx 15, T15, basically. You just gotta take out these screws Really, the, what makes this go smooth is having these right size tools. You're going to need this T15, and there's another one that you're going to need, which is the T4, um, which is a very small. Actually, this is a T. This is, I'm sorry, this is a T9. And the other size you're going to need is a T4. And they're Torx, little Torx um, bits. Might be able to pick them up at Fry's or something like that. I think my wife ordered this kit with all the different size Torx from uh, Amazon or something. But it has all the different size. So just go ahead and pop the batteries out if it has batteries in it. That way you're not going to short circuit something. Take some precautions here. Uh, but it just flips up. It's just got hinges. It says it's a made in Germany, but assembled in America, so we can do this. We're Americans, we can do anything. So now you have uh, three more screws. You're gonna have one more of the T9. I always like to keep my screws separate here for the inside versus the outside. And then now I'm gonna have to switch to the T4. And this is about the time you can start warming up your soldering iron. Um, doesn't matter what kind of soldering iron you use. Um, just a good one that you, you're uh, accustomed to working with. That's the main thing. Uh, soldering irons are very uh, delicate and um, you got to kind of get to know the temperament of it when it gets hot, when it's when it's ready to solder, things like that. Okay, so now that I've got all the screws out, I have uh, access to the board here. It it you just you know kind of make sure it's it's ready to come up, right? And it's kind of loose. And we're not going to really do a whole lot to it at this point, other than just get it ready. Then have yourself a little handy dandy little um well i don't even know what this is called this is a little scraper or something it used to be i've had this thing about 30 years it used to be a full size one but anyway so but you're this is going to be your extra finger here and what you're going to do here is you're going to you're going to be prying up with this while you're heating it at the same time and it'll just pop through what i also like to do though before i do that is I have some uh, flux here, an old bottle of flux. This thing's probably 20 years old. It used to be, it looks like a uh, fingernail polish. And just put a little flux on that little uh, soldering mound that we're fixing to touch, uh, just to get it kind of clean and it gives the solders nice flowage. Now this is an old soldering iron uh it tip is so far gone it's not even funny but i just gonna uh, prime it see if it's ready to go looks like it's nice and hot my air conditioner is on let me go click my air conditioner real quick because it cools that cools off just enough to give it some problems here Solder's not good. Oh. All right. Sorry about that. So let me get my stand up here again. Okay, now we're ready. So all we got to do here 
is put the soldering tip on the circuit, which is kind of hard to see here. I'm just going to pry up underneath there, basically like that, and heat the top of it. So let me go ahead and do that. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pry, just so you can see what I'm doing. This is the new part. The Sennheiser, my wife ordered this. Let me, what's the part number if you wanna figure that out? I'm not sure how she got it. She probably just looked it up on the good old interweb. Good old Google. So this is the replacement antenna just so you can get a good idea what that looks like. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be pushing down on this flat surface while heating it up so it'll pop out of the circuit board. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Can't really see it very, very good. I'm only one person trying to get this done. We're my worship leader, Hannah. So let me pop this down. Heat it up, pop it down. I want to pop it all the way down, make sure it goes all the way. So it, this one cleared. So it did exactly like I wanted it to do. I pushed it down and now I can just pull it out, put the replacement in there. You could put a little flux on there if you wanted to, but I think I've got enough on the circuit board not to have to worry about it. But go ahead and make sure it's sitting down where it's supposed to be. And it is. And then you're just going to put that circuit board back on it, line it up. And, and then we're going to heat it and it should fall back right back up on top of it. That's the goal. So got to have a little bit of uh, blind faith here at the same time that it's going to come through. But I'm thinking we're in pretty good shape. Make sure your tips got some... It's in good shape, this old thing. Call it the rooster. It's still crowing. So I think this thing is still good to go here. And then we're just going to touch it and hope that that pin lines up and just just pops back in there like it, like it was designed to. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to push down on the circuit board a little bit with this my extra finger thing here. So let's get that going. Okay, so it's not gonna go down that easy. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm going to find a way to push up on that pin while I'm, oh, there we go. We can do something like that. I'll find it here. Try to find the hole. Come on, baby. Get in there. There you go. Now it's in there. Now we got it. So now you can see that it's in there. It's soldered in there. It popped in there. Well, that was it pretty much now it's just reassembly unplug your soldering iron don't need that anymore i want to start a fire and just put your little screws back in there the way you pull them out and you're good to go drop everything in there like it's supposed to try not to touch the circuit board because you can inject some uh electrostatic electricity esd um but i think we're good to go um it's uh, well protected if you don't touch the circuit board in there. So now I'm just going to put the screws on with the T4s. Go in reverse order. 
got my two T4s in there. And swap swap over to my T9. And put my last screw. Sorry about these little mishaps here. Come on, baby. Work with me. All right, so here we go. Last inside screw that needs to go in. The reason I'm doing this YouTube video is because I've had so many other people make YouTube videos and it's really helped me. So I kind of want to get back to the good old YouTube community. There we go. And then you just fold it back the way you pull it out. Be kind of careful. Make sure you're not smashing anything. Make sure the antenna's lining up like it's supposed to. It does take a little bit of wiggling to get it to go sit. There it goes. You'll feel it kind of snap together. It's just in that one spot by the antenna for some reason. It's real sensitive right there. Um, and then the rest is this, the, the T9s. So we're going to put the T9s back in. There it goes. A lot of snapping and whatnot. You kind of want to go cross pattern just like you're putting on a 350 Chevy intake. And then you just put them on there. And the last one. And we're just going to pop the batteries back in for this video. And then I'm going to turn it on. And then that's going to be it. I appreciate you hanging all the way out to the end. Just for giggles. I'm sure you don't need to see this. You can, you're pretty much done. And put the batteries back in here. Turn it on. Make sure I didn't mess anything up. Now we get an antenna. All right. Thank you, YouTube. Peace out.